American singer Clarence Frogman, Henry, who is popular for his hit songs such as Ain't Got No Home, You Always Hurt the One You Love. Henry died on April 7, 2024. At the age of 87, no cause of death has been revealed yet. Mexican actress Maria del Carmen Farias, who is remembered for showing her acting skills in movies such as La Saparicio, Ingo Burnable, and Cappadocia. She was a celebrated Mexican actress with a career spanning over 55 years. Farias passed away on 6 April 2024. She died of natural causes at the age of 68. English actor Adrian Schiller was best known for showing his acting skills in Netflix historical series The Last Kingdom. He was also popular for his role as Mr. Penge in the masterpiece series Victoria. Adrian provided his voiceover in the HBO Max series Raised by Wolves. Adrian died on 3rd April 2024 at the age of 60. No cause of death has been revealed yet. American actor Cole Brings Plenty is best known for his portrayal as Mo in the Paramount Network series, Yellowstone spin-off 1923. Additionally, the actor has appeared in Into the Wild Frontier and The Tall Tales of Jim Bridger. He was the nephew of actor Moses Brings Plenty, who was known for playing a police officer in Yellowstone. Cole was found dead on 6 April 2024. His family reported him missing earlier this week after he missed an appointment with his agent. Cole was 27 at the time of his death. American actor and writer Joe Flaherty is best known for his work on the Canadian sketch comedy, SCTV shows and movies such as Freaks and Geeks and Happy Gilmore. His television career spanned nearly five decades with credits on comedy shows like Frasier and Family Guy. If we talk about Flaherty's love life, he was married to Judith Dagley for 22 years until their divorce in 1996. Flaherty died on the 1st of April, 2024. He died after a short illness at the age of 84. Former World Series winner, American attorney, and baseball executive Larry Licino, whose Boston Red Sox team won three World Series while he was president and CEO. Lucino helped build championship teams, including the first World Series title for the organization in 86 years in 2004. The team also won in 2007 and 2013. Lucino, who was a three-time cancer survivor, died on the 2nd of April 2024. He died of natural causes at the age of 78. Tony winner, American playwriter Christopher Durang is best known for his work on popular plays such as Sister Mary Ignatius Explains It All For You, Vanya and Sonia, and Masha and Spike. His play, Vanya and Sonia and Masha and Spike, won the Tony Award for the Best Play in 2013. Durang died on the 2nd of April, 2024. He died of complications from aphasia, which is thought to be caused by Alzheimer's disease. He was 75 years old. Super Bowl winner, American football player Mike Colon, was a linebacker for eight seasons with the Miami Dolphins of the National Football League, NFL. In the early 1970s, he was a member of the Dolphins dynasty that led the team to three consecutive Super Bowls under coach Don Shula, Dolphins lost Super Bowl VI, followed by two Super Bowl wins. Colen died on 3rd April 2024. He died at the age of 76. No cause of death has been revealed yet. American British actor Chance Perdomo, who's being remembered for his roles on the Netflix series Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and Andre Anderson in the first season of the Amazon Prime series Gen V. For his performance in BBC Three's film Killed by My Debt, he was nominated for a British Academy Television Award. Tragically, Chance Perdomo passed away on March 29, 2024, at the age of 27 from a motorcycle accident. Hungarian actress Giza Tordi, 
who's best known for his work on popular movies such as Suburban Legend, For Whom the Lark Sing, and Sleepless Years. Tordy passed away on the 30th of March 2024. He died of natural causes at the age of 85. Oscar winner American actor Louis Gossett Jr. is being remembered for showing his acting skills in movies and TV shows such as An Officer and a Gentleman, Roots, and Iron Eagle. He was the first black man to win a supporting actor Oscar and an Emmy winner for his role in the seminal TV miniseries Roots. Louis gave his voice to the villainous Scar in Disney's animated sequel, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. Louis passed away on the 29th of March, 2024. He died of natural causes at the age of 87. American actress and casting director Barbara Baldwin, who's being remembered for her work on popular movies and TV shows such as Medical Center, Star Trek, and Trapper John, M.D. She portrayed Phaser Control Officer Angela Martine on the first two-season episodes of 1966 Star Trek. Barbara passed away on the 31st of March, 2024, she died of heart failure at the age of 85. American baseball player Jerry Grote was a professional baseball catcher best known for playing alongside teams like the New York Mets, Los Angeles Dodgers, and Kansas City Royals. He made two all-star teams during his career. Grote was considered one of the best defensive catchers in baseball in his day. Grote died on 7th of April 2024. He died of respiratory failure at the age of 81. English television personality George Gilby, who rose to fame through his appearances on the Channel 4 show Gogglebox alongside his mother. He became a household name in the UK after appearing on Gogglebox in 2013. The show features families and friends watching television together and offering their unfiltered commentary. He also appeared in the 14th series of Celebrity Big Brother, a reality show where celebrities live together in a house. George passed away on the 27th of March, 2024. He died at the age of 40 after following a fall at work while he was working as a self-employed electrician. American songwriter Mark Spiro, who's being remembered for his hit songs such as Are You Still In Love With Me, I'll See You In My Dreams, and Mighty Wings. He also wrote songs for films like True Romance, Selena, and Music From Another Room. Mark passed away on the 28th of March, 2024. He died of lung cancer at the age of 67. Mark's songwriting contributions have left a lasting mark on the music industry. American basketball player Walt Wesley was best known for playing alongside teams like Cincinnati Royals, Chicago Bulls, and the Cleveland Cavaliers. In the 1966 NBA draft, Wesley was selected by the Cincinnati Royals, now the Sacramento Kings. Following his retirement from basketball in 1976, Wesley transitioned into coaching. Walt passed away on the 28th of March, 2024, he died of leukemia at the age of 79. American actor Ron Harper, who was best known for his work on popular movies such as Planet of the Apes, Land of the Lost, and Generations. Harper appeared in soap operas, including CBS's series Where the Heart Is and Love of Life. He continued to act well into his later years, with his final role being an episode of the television series Longmire in 2012. Harper passed away on the 21st of March, 2024. He died of natural causes at the age of 91. Spanish actress Silvia Tortosa was a prominent actress with a career spanning over six decades. She's remembered for her work in popular movies such as Horror Express, The Lorelei's Grasp, and The Girl from the Red Cabaret. Sylvia Tortosa died of cancer on the 23rd of March, 2024, at the age of 77. American visual effects artist Tim McGovern, 
won an Academy Award for Best Visual Effects for his work in the film Total Recall. Tim also works on other popular movies such as 2015's Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation, Ant-Man, and Men in Black International. Tim died on the 30th of March 2024. He died at the age of 68. No cause of death is revealed yet. American actress Barbara Rush, who's best known for showcasing her acting skills in movies and TV shows such as It Came From Outer Space, Peyton Place, and All My Children. Her performance in the 1953 sci-fi film It Came From Outer Space earned her a Golden Globe Award. She also showed her acting skills in popular TV shows such as The Untouchables, Perry Mason, The Alfred Hitchcock Hour, and Batman. Barbara Rush remained active well into her later years. Sadly, she passed away on April 1, 2024. She died of natural causes at the age of 97. She was married three times and had two children. American football player Vontae Davis, who's being remembered for playing alongside teams like the Miami Dolphins, Indianapolis Colts, and Buffalo Bills. He was selected by the Dolphins in the first round of the 2009 NFL Draft. Davis played 10 seasons in the NFL. He's best known for announcing his retirement during a game between his team at the time, the Buffalo Bills, and the Los Angeles Chargers in 2018. David was found dead on the 1st of April, 2024. He was 35 years old at the time of his death. No cause of death has been released pending autopsy results. American actor M. Emmett Walsh who's being remembered for his work on popular movies such as Blade Runner, Blood Simple, and Fletch. He appeared in more than 200 films and television shows and graced screens for over five decades. He also had recurring appearances on various television shows, including Picket Fences and Home Improvement. Walsh died of cardiac arrest on March 19, 2024, three days before his 89th birthday. American casting director Diane Crittenden, who worked as head of casting at Warner Brothers. She helped cast actors for popular movies such as Star Wars, Witness, Pretty Woman, and Days of Heaven. Diane passed away on the 20th of March, 2024. She died of cancer at the age of 82. American film producer Paula Weinstein is best known for her work on popular movies such as The Perfect Storm, The Fabulous Baker Boys, and Blood Diamond. If we talk about Paula's love life, she was married to film producer Mark Rosenberg until he died in 1992 at the age of 44. She was hired by Fox in 1978 at the age of 33. A year later, she was promoted to vice president, and the Los Angeles Times debuted her as the highest-ranking woman in the motion picture industry. Paula passed away on the 25th of March, 2024. She died at the age of 78. No cause of death has been revealed yet. Oscar winner, British-American screenwriter David Seidler, who's being remembered for his work on popular movies such as The King's Speech, Quest for Camelot, Tucker, The Man and His Dream. He gained widespread recognition for his work on The King's Speech, which became his most celebrated and acclaimed project. David's early career started writing translation dubs for Japanese monster movies. He won the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay for The King's Speech at the 83rd Academy Awards in 2011. David passed away on the 16th of March, 2024. He died of natural causes at the age of 86. Canadian actress Jennifer Leake, who was popular for her work in movies such as Yours, Mine and Ours, Eye of the Cat, and Another World. She also played guest spots on various television shows, including Macmillan and Wife, Hawaii 5 and The Mary Tyler Moore Show. 
Jennifer passed away on the 18th of March 2024 at the age of 76. She died of progressive supranuclear palsy after suffering from the disease for more than seven years. Russian actress Tatyana Konyakova, who's best known for her work on popular movies such as Over Tissa, Balzaminov's Marriage, and Moscow Doesn't Believe in Tears. Tatiana passed away on the 2nd of April 2024. She died of natural causes at the age of 92. Swedish actor Sten Elfström, who's being remembered for his work in movies such as Real Humans, Kron Princessen, and Beck Annus Menen. Throughout the 1970s and 80s, he appeared in about 30 films and 20 or so television series. Sten Elfström passed away on March 20, 2024, in Ostermalm, Stockholm, Sweden, at the age of 81. American astronaut Thomas P. Stafford flew on two Gemini missions and one Apollo mission. In 1965, he piloted Gemini 6A. Stafford was one of 24 NASA astronauts who flew to the moon but didn't land there. There are only seven left alive today. Among other leadership roles, he served as director of the NASA Johnson Space Center after retiring from NASA and the Air Force. Stafford passed away on the 18th of March, 2024. He died of liver cancer at the age of 93. 